different angle. I'm hoping my phone doesn't fall down in here. I, uh, last night, actually it's Sunday morning. Last night I edited Friday and Saturday because I've been working Friday and Saturday and today I'm on my way to work. Anyway, I was, you know, I try to keep it real. I don't, I edit my, my videos to not look really bad. I'm not a professional editor by any means, but you know, I, I try, I give it a try. And, but what I don't edit is my mouth. I always try to keep it real. I always tell you guys how I'm really feeling and stuff. And so yesterday was kind of a somber vlog. I was talking a little about the day before and I didn't talk about what was really had me sad, which is, you know, it's a family member that's not well. And it has nothing to do with the COVID. Thank God. Thank God. It's just, you know, we all have our demons. We all have our addictions. And I'm not saying that. I guess I am saying that loosely because we do. We all, I have... I don't have a perfect life. My life was very, um, not perfect in my youth. Uh, my, my addiction right now is coffee. I love my coffee. <clears throat> I probably drink way too much of it, but that is my, that's my vice right now. Anyway, I am sad about a family member. That's all I'm going to say. And this family member is... Um, okay, I'll just leave it there. This person is okay, and I pray, and I just want the best. So that's what kind of had me somber, but the reason why I don't want to talk about none of that stuff, the reason why, and the reason why I don't want to talk about that stuff, because it's not mine to talk about, you know how, you know what I mean? If it's about me personally, I'll, I'll tell you about it. I'm very open about myself. But if it's about other people, unless they give me permission, which I would probably never get, and even then I, I wouldn't feel right um, sharing somebody else's somebody else's stuff. So anyway, okay, with that little disclaimer out there, <laughs> um, that's why I was kind of somber for the most part. So that that's that's me keeping it real for my part. Let me have coffee. Speaking of ice, is my coffee. And so, what I'm, I guess what I'm telling you is, today's Sunday, I'm going to put this vlog up first. I don't know if I'll vlog later, like on the way home, or once I get home, because I'll be off, um, I think the next two days, I'm not sure, I have to look at my schedule again. My schedule's never steady or stable. It's always wonky, so I always have to look. But for the most part, all I just wanted to come in here and say was I'm wishing you all a a very good Sunday. I um, I'm telling myself try to make it. You know, it's I know it's mind over matter. Whatever the situation is. Uh, it's the way how I look at it and how I perceive it and how I receive it and how I digest it. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go to work right now and keep in my mind, no matter what the situation is, what other people's moods are, but for the most part, the higher, bigger percentage is what the situation is, no matter what it is. I am going to keep it positive in my mind. There it is there. So yeah, I did vlog a little bit last night when I got home. Oops. I did vlog a bit last night. Oh, yeah. I was showing you guys my mom's um bread i had one of my uh co-workers one of my nurses was talking about 
a recipe she saw on her Facebook called Pandemic Bread. That's right. Okay, so I printed it out. I brought it home to mom the other day and she made it yesterday. It was good. I had, like I said, I went home. I was really somber, blah, 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 blah. And mom was tired. I had to stay late, uh, later than usual at work because it was a hard day. Very short. We're working with skeleton staff, you guys. Very. It was just, uh, anyway. So I got home late. Couldn't, sp I spent zero time with my mom, which, you know, normally when I get home on a normal basis, I get to at least play catch up with her and sit with her for about 20 minutes. At least I get that. I'm not complaining. At least I get that. But last night, I didn't even see her. She was in bed. So, and I thought, okay, I'm just going to go to bed too. It's too late to eat anything. Then I got up to eat and I started editing. Well, I brought food to the bed and then I was editing. And I finished that and I continued editing. And then I remembered the pandemic bread because she had sent me a picture during the day yesterday. We communicate all day long. We'll text and send pictures back and forth. So she sent me a picture. She keeps me updated on the kitties. The kitties keep her very busy. I just got to tell her right now. Don't let nobody boss you around. Anyway, um, meaning the kitties. Don't let, I said, don't let them push you around. They all know how to work her. So anyway, that, that's, that's who keeps her company for the most part. So uh, she updates me. She'll send me pictures throughout the day and I always look forward to that. That's that's my highlight of the day when I'm at work. So anyway, I'm sorry you guys. I'm yawning. So that's how I knew she made that pandemic bread yesterday. And I went back to the kitchen. I think I took you with me in there. It's very ugly filming, but I filmed it. I put it in there. So that vlog is going to come up after this one. This one... Okay, it's Sunday morning right now. It's uh, 6.50, yikes. Um, anyway, it's 6.50 a.m. right now. So I'm going to go through my day, do you know, and then I'm going to go home. Boop, 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 boop. Edit things like that, that turn that just blocked the camera. I'll, you know, pull that out of the... That I'm going to do very minimal editing and put this up. So this will be up tonight and then I'll put up what I uh, I'll put up what I edited um, last night. I'll put that up uh, tomorrow morning. I just saw another pet on the street. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just saw another pet on the street. I saw one in my neighborhood too. Breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. I know accidents happen. It just, it just hurts me to see somebody's pet, someone's. You know, if I look at my my babies. All my fur babies are my family. They're my babies, and I look at them as family. And so when I see somebody's pet in the street laying there, it just breaks my heart. So I saw that in my neighborhood, and then I just saw that right now, right here. <sighs> That's why I made that face a minute ago. Okay, you guys. <laughs>